Hi, it's April 19th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm Mike Stanton here with Morgan Fahey from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Morgan, thanks for taking some time this week. Thanks, Mike. Relatively straightforward week for the muni market, focused on new supply, fairly light calendar of economic data. What did you see from yields and what were people focused on? Sure. So the market definitely, um, you know, kind of continues to be focused on economic data and potential timing of the Fed rate cuts. We saw retail sales come in stronger than expected earlier in the week, which caused the treasuries to kind of continue their sell off from last week. A continued trend of strong economic numbers after the stronger than expected inflation data that we saw last week. And it seems that the general consensus is that the Fed doesn't need to be in a rush to start cutting. And the market seems to be talking now about maybe two rather than three cuts. And on the muni side this week, we saw outflows of um, about a billion and a half, according to Lipper, which is not surprising with the uh, tax filing deadline this week. We continue to see busy bid wanted and trading activity in the market. Munis, as of this morning, were about seven basis points wider on the week, and the 30-year ratio was hanging in there at around 82% of treasuries. And definitely some comments we saw on uh, CNBC earlier this week. Dan Close, head of municipals at Nuveen uh, in the muni money segment, talking about how munis are providing attractive relative value versus treasuries for investors and, and continuing to draw demand on, on that front. Uh, what about the new issue market? You know, supply has been very heavy. When supply is heavy, sometimes prices uh, have to fall to meet it. What do you think? Sure. So on the new issue side, um, year to date supplies up about 28%. And what we've seen you know, this week and last week is that some of the full year estimates for 2024 are being revised upwards. So you know, that obviously would be great for the market, uh, you know, barring some potential volatility in the fourth quarter. But you know, we'll see how all that plays out. But this week, it was another busy calendar around 9 billion. BAM had some nice activity pricing around 240 million across 24 series in 14 states. And a few deals to highlight here were the 33 million Mercer County School District in Kentucky, which was bought by R.W. Baird, a 30 million River Delta Unified School District in California, which was also bought by Baird, and then a 23 million County of Manistee, Michigan, which was priced by Huntington Securities. And we'll see how next week plays out. I think the calendar again is a little over nine billion, not quite ten billion. Last time I looked, although a lot of that is in a uh, single transaction out of Florida that uh, the timing is still a little uncertain on, but will be coming at some point in the next couple of weeks. What about on the BAM insured calendar? Sure, a deal that we'll be watching here, you know, in another busy week, will be the uh, 111 million Bell County Water Control and Improvement District Number One in Texas, which is going to be priced by Raymond James. And we've said it a few times this year, but again, it was really highlighted earlier this week. Uh, several BAM people, including myself, were down at the Bond Buyers Texas Public Finance Conference. And one of the interesting things there is like, is, is of note is that this volume is coming in new money transactions. There are uh, a lot of people were talking about deferred investments that just did not go forward during the pandemic for various reasons or financing that did not happen because uh, governments had a lot of cash on their balance sheets from federal aid. Um, that situation is now resolving itself and those needs are coming to the fore. So uh, making see strong volume for the rest of the year. Hopefully. Great. Thanks for your time this week, Morgan. Thanks, Mike.